we offer you the presentation of the dispatching software system RadioSat Manager, which solves the problem of constructing an automated system for dispatch and includes all the advantages of the Naxage digital systems. The software architecture of the complex suggests the possibility of customer network management of any size and geometry. RadioSat Manager allows to use digital radio functions of Kenwood radios and the analog mode of operation for smooth migration to the new radio standard through the implementation of the mixed mode where one part of users works in the analog mode and the other part works in the digital mode. Dispatching radio networks is carried out through fixed stations connected to the dispatcher working place directly. In this case, multiple radio stations can be connected to one dispatcher workplace. One of them, for example, is used for voice communication and the other is used as a backup or for data transmitting or receiving. Also, subscriber management is carried out from dispatcher workplaces through remote IP connection. Moreover, the dispatcher workplaces can be connected both via LAN or via global IP network. A SIP server is connected to the system to provide voice communication between dispatchers and base stations, as well as to communicate with the public telephone network. Radio Set Manager consists of the following programs modules. A database server, Naxage map, a program to work with cartographic information, client software Naxage Client which implements the dispatcher workplace, the program for data exchange between stations in the transparent mode Naxage Communicator. This program is installed on a tablet PC which is used as a workplace in the car. This service works with the base station NXD. The client program and server program can run on the same computer or on different PCs. In the second case, a network connection is used for the exchange of information between them. After installation, the dispatcher works with the following software modules that have a graphical interface. Naxage Client, Naxage Map, and transparent mode Naxage Communicator. We begin with a description of the interface of the software module Naxage Client. An authorization is required to enter the program. The system information can be obtained in the window General Information. Information about database to which the dispatcher workplace is connected information on the base station connected to this workplace of dispatcher, information on the number of remote base stations in the system as well as their designations, information about the rights and the name of the dispatcher in accordance with login and password, information about the total number of subscriber stations in the system and how many of them send information about their location. In addition, this window contains information about call signs of all dispatchers that are connected to the system. The main working window for communication is called Voice. In the right part of the window, you can find icons for individual subscribers or subscriber groups. Moreover, the dispatcher can arbitrarily place these icons on the field at his convenience. In the left part of the window, one can find buttons with the designation of subscriber groups and the general call button. Icons of radio stations that dispatcher can only call via remote base station are marked with a red cross. In this case, the dispatcher has information about what kind of base station must be used to make such a call. Text messaging window is designed to work with text message manager. The main content of this window is the log of text messages, which records all incoming, 
outcoming text messages as well as information about successful, unsuccessful transmission or reception. A required message can be easily found by using the functional filter. Also from this window you can prepare and send a new text message. There is also a window for status messages. This is the log of status messages where you can find the desired status message through a functional filter. Locations window contains a log with information on the location of subscribers with GPS radios. This information can be visualized on the map using the browser. It also provides information on the address location of the subscriber. To search the required information, one can use a functional filter. System administrators or dispatchers with administrators' rights operate the system through administration window. Submenu users is designed to work with accounts of system dispatchers. You can add, edit, delete or block accounts of dispatchers or the system. In the submenu base station the administrator adds, deletes or edits the base stations of the system. For subscriber stations, the same action can be performed in a submenu Portable Radio Stations. Directories submenu includes three windows Groups, Statuses, and Templates. In the Groups window, the administrator adds, deletes, or edits user groups of the system. In the statuses window the administrator has a possibility to assign to the chosen status a semantic value and identify special statuses. For the rapid exchange of text messages you can use templates of text messages that are formulated in advance by the administrator in the box templates. The submenu logs consist of four windows. Two windows for calls, commands and sessions. The first call window contains a log of all incoming and outcoming calls from or to the subscribers with the possibility of listening. The search for a call is also performed through a functional filter. Another call window contains a log with information on all communications between dispatchers with the ability to listen to them as well as communications of dispatchers with remote base stations. The search of data is done by means of a functional filter. The commands window contains the command log as well as information about their performance. In sessions, one can find information about connections of dispatchers to the database. The software module Naxage Map is a cartographic program that uses a graphical interface. The authorization is required to enter the program. A map is displayed in the main part of the program window. Moreover, the dispatcher can choose a map of required kind and size. On the left side, there is a list of available subscribers with GPS radios. When selecting a required subscriber, the dispatcher sees his position on the map and the program moves the map 
so that the icon of the required subscriber is in the center of the screen and is focused by a red circle. Dispatcher has an option of setting control points and control sectors in order to receive prompt information whenever subscriber is crossing the control points or sector borders. The program allows the dispatcher to draw a route with measured length on the map if needed. The option of making a call directly from the map enhances dispatcher's efficiency and comfort. When dispatcher is using two screens, one of them can display the field of voice calls and the map program will be shown on the other. NextEdge Communicator program is a program designed to exchange data between radios operating in the transparent mode. The program allows you to uh, prepare and send a text message, send a file that already exists in the database and in order to do this you must specify the path to the file and then send it to the recipient. The dynamics of the file transfer and basic information about the transmission is displayed in the window. If necessary, you can cancel the transfer. The right window displays a list of radio stations with an activated program Naxage Communicator as well as log of the send and received files and messages. When you receive a file, the dynamics of reception and basic information about the reception are displayed in the corresponding window. A received file is opened automatically. Voice is the main working field of a dispatcher. To make an individual call, one should move the cursor to icon of the required subscriber Press and hold the left mouse button during the transfer. One can also use space button for the same purpose. When you receive an individual call, the icon of the caller is highlighted green and the voice signal is transmitted to a speaker or a headset of the dispatcher. For a group call, the dispatcher selects the required group and by clicking the left mouse button performs the transmitting. In the right window, one can find the subscribers of the called group. When subscribers are working in a group, the icon of the initiating radio station in the group call is highlighted yellow. The general call is made by a dispatcher using the button All. Reception of emergency calls from radio stations is done automatically with a visual display on the dispatcher console and sound. The transmission of sound from the radio which had sent the alarm signal is switched on automatically thereafter. The dispatcher determines the status of the alarm, the man down, lone worker or alarm, makes a decision on the current situation and then moves the alarm status from the radio station shifting it into a working mode. As for the drop-down menu for each user, it allows the dispatcher to quickly and correctly work with subscribers. This includes obtaining information about the current location of subscriber on the map via integrated browser. It also includes requesting location of subscriber with an optional number of requests per time interval or GPS information spacing in automatic mode. This also includes text message preparation and sending. In this case, you can specify the address, select the conversation mode for Cyrillic letters in case subscriber station doesn't support Cyrillic. 
The text message is typed in the corresponding window and you can also repeat the previous message or send a message from the drafts. A pop-up window showing the sender's call sign and the text of the message appears whenever you receive a text message from someone. It also includes status clarification of the radio station whenever requested by dispatcher. At the same time, he receives information about whether the station is in operation, locked, etc. Grey color in the main window displays radios that are switched off. After switching on, the radio sends off status information and the icon shortly blinks with contrasting colors. The dispatcher has an option of sending one of the prearranged statuses to chosen subscribers. When you receive a status message, the icon of the subscriber station who has sent the message becomes purple. The next two menu items are only available to dispatchers with the rights of administrators. Listening. When turning on this feature, the dispatcher determines the time and the mode of listening. In the hidden listening mode, indicators of the radio that are being listened do not display data transmission mode, while a radio icon takes on a green background. Special actions for radio stations include stun, revive and kill. When radio is stunned, the icon turns deep red and pop-up window displays stun detail. Once revived, the station becomes operational again. For faster performance, a dispatcher can put icons of the most active users in the favorites window. Depending on the situation, the dispatcher temporarily puts one or more users to another group. In this case, dispatcher can prevent subscribers from changing the group on their own. The icons in radios for rearranged subscribers are highlighted in the color of the new group. After completing the task, the dispatcher returns subscribers to regional groups. Therefore, Control Software System Radio Set Manager is a unique program which allows to create an automated dispatch system adjustable to client requirements.